Dr. Scott here again. We're doing another video today on proteins. We're going to talk about the differences in whey, casein, uh, whey isolate, hydrolysis slate, and soy. Okay, but we're not going to talk about soy until the very end, so ignore that right now. The other four proteins, what is the difference? Uh, it's pretty much how it's made. So think of it this way. Say you have gasoline and you have a filter that filters the gasoline before it goes into the engine. The better the filter is, the more pure the gasoline will be when it goes into the engine. That is how the proteins, why the names are different, because they're filtered differently to make a different blend. Okay, first, we're gonna go over whey protein. Whey protein, why is it good? Well, it is the most basic protein, the most widely used, most known, um, however, it does have its drawbacks because it is more of an inexpensive protein. It is harder to digest and it could make you bloated or gassy. But it is great for between meals as a snack or to use as pre or post workout shakes. Um, it is inexpensive, it is slower digesting. Of, it is a fast digesting protein, but it's slower digesting of the other ones that I'm going to list. Okay, next we're actually gonna go to whey isolate. Okay, so it's like whey, but it's a little bit of an upgrade. Why isn't it an upgrade? It's faster digesting, it's more pure, it's filtered better. Okay, so it is the second quickest digesting protein. Uh, normally they're very low carb and low sugar, so if you're trying to be shredded or drop fat, this is the better protein to get. However, it is more expensive than whey protein. All right, so next we have hydrolysate protein. This protein is the purest protein on the market. It has the purest filtration rate. Okay, so what does that mean? When something is pure, it's very fast absorbing. Okay, so this protein is the most anabolic protein, allowing your body to completely absorb it for maximum muscle building or not just muscle building, but repair, okay? So it is the healthier protein. It is going to be the lowest in sugar, lowest in carbs, uh, again, fastest digesting. It is the most expensive though, because the filtration process is tougher than the other stuff. Uh, it is highly absorbable, and it, it leaves you with a healthier digestive system which, why is that? Because it's easier to absorb. So it's easier to digest. It makes your di digestive system healthier. All right, so next we have casein protein. Casein protein is the slowest digesting protein. It takes five to seven hours to digest completely. So most people use it before they go to sleep because it keeps them anabolic through the night. However, people that are trying to bulk or gain weight will often take a casein shake between meals in order to, again, give the body a constant supply of protein. Um, it also will keep the body full. And it's great for just bulking or building up muscles. That is casein, it's a slow digesting protein. Okay, so next we have soy proteins. Soy proteins are going to be not for bodybuilding. Soy proteins are for the normal lifestyle training or vegetarian or vegan um, or just general fitness person looking for a good protein source. Source. A lot of women use soy protein. Do I believe that women should use soy protein? That's gonna be a completely different topic. We'll have a video on that later. Okay, so the benefits of soy protein is, like I said, it's a vegan or vegetarian. It has lots of glutamine and BCAAs for faster recovery. It is better for your cholesterol. It boosts your thyroid function, and with a faster thyroid, you have a faster metabolism. But again, I don't recommend soy for bodybuilding. All right, so that is the end of today's video. Make sure you look out for more. We're gonna have nutrition, 101 series, 102, 103, 104 coming out tomorrow. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I got lots more information coming. Check me out on Instagram at Tyler Scott underscore fitness, Facebook.com slash Tyler Scott fan page. All right. Talk to you guys later.